Okay, so we've now got Louise Diva from No Talk Surfboards. Um, Louise, tell us a little bit about you and the challenge it is that you're trying to solve. Hi, Tim. Yes, so me, about five years ago, as an adult learner surfer, I couldn't find any surfboards with green credentials. So I came into the surfing world very naive and I thought I could find a green alternative to what I saw all the other experienced surfers riding. Uh, but on my search, I was really shocked to see what was happening behind closed doors in Australian surfboard manufacturing factories. Um, now, I knew I didn't want to make an unnecessary impact on the surfing world, so I began searching for a sustainable alternative. Great. And so you found that. What is, uh, what is your solution and, and why do you think this will work? Yep. So the solution came to me via France. So what's happening in France is they were making surfboards using vacuum technology combined with recycled and natural materials. Uh, so what this does is it makes the boards much stronger and it's the same techniques used in the aerospace industry. So it's light, strong and really high quality. Um, and also another problem that I did find was what the work, you know, the workers were being underpaid, it was unsafe. Um, and so what the factory, our factory is also about, the no-tox factories, is the technicians or the workers are paid twice as much as well. So that's really important. And yeah, and, and it works because we're using plant-based materials, recycled materials, the worker is in a safer environment, they're being paid more, which means they can afford to buy the correct safety equipment uh, and the boards last a lot longer because they're stronger and, but because they're vacuum bagged, they're very light as well. Fantastic. And so tell us um, sort of where you are now with the business and what you need to achieve your, your big visions and goals. Right. Okay. This is the fun part. <laughs> So right now we're in production phase. Uh, we've been, I mean, we've been in production for 10 years in France, but in Australia, this is, this is very new. Uh, and so what we're doing in Australia, we're offering our workers a safe place to work. We're reducing their exposures to chemicals. We're paying them the rate they deserve to be paid to achieve that high quality board. Uh, right now though, I'm on a mission to educate the surfing community in Australia particularly, uh, that they can make environmentally friendly choices and stand up for the Australian workers by choosing boards that offer safe practices in the workspace. Now, our main goal right now is to create awareness to do, and to do that, we need to get the public's eye on the truth of what is happening in, that, in those factories in Australia. Great. Well, it sounds like you've got an exciting and important journey ahead of you. Uh, thank you so much for your time today, Louise. Thank you, Tim.